Hello there, and welcome to another Tuesday tip from our viewers. Today, we're going to talk about the Direct Express debit card. The viewer writes in and states, during my MOR, I received a finding for not using the Direct Express debit card as an asset on the 50059. The tenant said there was a zero balance and my software does not take zero balances. Even the Mac user's guide states that. Getting tired. Well, getting tired, Dear little old getting tired, hang on in there. I cannot speak to findings given by other CAs, but I can speak to the rules. Take a look at the HUD RIP listserv 296. It told us that the current balance of a Direct Express card would be treated like a savings account from HUD, which is an asset. Management can use the current balance that the tenant obtains from an ATM or through an online account service or a paper statement that they get from the bank. And the verification document must identify the account and the account holder. In a May the 2nd, 2013, I think thereabouts, uh, there was an email from Michael Sharkley in HUD's policy clarifications. And he clarified that the verification must show a relationship between the verification document and the account holder, and that HUD would not define verifications any further than that. Well, if the tenant gets a statement balance from the bank, the bank will probably charge them a fee. Sometimes a local credit union won't charge a fee. However, he did agree, Mr. Sharkley did agree, that if management makes a copy of the Direct Express card showing the tenant's name and full account number and attaches a copy of the ATM printout, that that would satisfy the requirement of the asset. I would recommend that you do exactly that. However, I would not recommend that you photocopy the front and the back of the card because you don't want that type of information out there or in your file. If necessary, go ahead and use four digits from the file, ask the tenant to let you see the Direct Express card. You take the four digits, the last four digits from the card, and you look at the ATM receipt that the tenant bought you. You match those and you verify that the tenant bought in the printout from the ATM. And that's all you really need to do for that. Now to the finding, getting tired. If there is a third party verification in the file, the ATM card, let's say, and it has a balance of $1 or higher, then that asset should show on the 50059. If the asset shows a balance of zero, your software will not take a zero. I understand that. However, I have seen some softwares that will, and they put Direct Express card right on the 50059. However, since yours doesn't, then a letter to the file so that the reviewer can see that you actually got a third party verification should be sufficient. It is for us at Navigate. However, we're not your contract administrator, I don't assume. So ask your contract administrator what they need to satisfy this finding. By the way, the MAT user's guide does discuss there being a zero balance and that there is no value place on the 50059 for a zero balance. That's understood. But if you would like, it would help, I think, if you would try to work with your CA. And don't forget that there are other types of income also, such as your uh, child support, TANF. A lot of these are beginning to come on cards as well. So make sure that you have those included in your income. 
I want to thank you for such a great question. And I want to invite all of you back next Tuesday for another Tuesday tip. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.